YouTube, hope y'all are doing well. As you can see, we are changing up the scenery a little bit today. Today we are in Grand Teton National Park here in Wyoming, one of my absolute favorite places in the entire world and I am super excited to be here. As you saw, we've been doing a little bit of off-roading here on the back roads and I don't even know what part of the park this is, but it's awesome. There's all these dirt roads that go up and down these hills and mountains and as you saw, we found this incredible campsite that we pulled into. You could see the truck overlooking the mountain range and so, this place is awesome and I'm looking forward to a couple of days of hiking and photography here. All right, so I'm not actually here by myself. I'm actually here with my dad. We're taking a real quick trip out here to Wyoming for like four or five days. I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes right now, but you can see behind me that there's this incredible view of the Teton mountain range. And I think that this is gonna be my first landscape photo of the week. Okay, nothing crazy in this first spot, just a handheld photo with the 70 to 200. There's all this green foliage in the foreground and then you can see the mountains all the way in the background. It's kind of harsh sunlight right now, but the way the clouds look, it's pretty damn cool. And so I'm gonna make this photo with all the green in the foreground and then the blue mountains in the background. And let's see how it looks. Okay, so that first photo today was just a warm-up shot. This is where the real photography is gonna happen today. Unfortunately, it's been really windy today. So as you can see, there's all these ripples on the water. So there's not really all that good of a reflection here. However, if the wind slows down tonight, it'll certainly become a significantly better photo. And even if not, I'll be planning to come here again tomorrow morning to hopefully get the shot then at sunrise. So this is a location where the composition seems relatively straightforward. Kind of just center up the mountain in between these two trees here, make sure the reflection in the foreground looks good, and that's about it. But I think I'm going to walk around a little bit with my camera and just kind of frame it up and figure out exactly how I want to do it so that when I walk up to here in a couple of hours at sunset, I'll know exactly what I want to do. One of the things that I do all the time is rather than pulling out my actual camera in order to visualize a shot and frame it up and things like that, I actually use my phone. So what I just did, you might not be able to see it because of the variable ND filter in front of the camera, but I basically just walked around and using the zoom on my phone, I took a couple pictures to figure out what was my favorite composition. You don't really have to worry about exposure or anything on your phone and you're not really taking the photo on your phone to do anything with it besides just frame up the shot and figure out exactly what you want to do. I've found that for me at least personally it's the easiest way for me to visualize a shot because especially with the iPhone 11 Pro Max I think this is called it has every fr everything from a 13 millimeter wide angle lens all the way to like 200 millimeters if you digitally zoom all the way in. So you can frame up just about any shot to figure out exactly what the composition is gonna look like so you can come back later that day and actually shoot it with your real camera. Plan right now is to head back to the hotel, get some food, and then the sun actually doesn't set until I think 8.58 p.m. here and so in about two and a half hours, we're gonna head back here, hope that the weather has calmed down a little bit so that there's no waves or I guess ripples on the water. And uh, we're gonna hope for a solid sunset photo with a good reflection at that spot back there. All right guys, gotta be honest with you. I almost backed out of shooting sunset tonight. I just ate probably 3000 calories worth of Thai food. I'll show you the clip of this gigantic vat of curry that I just ate and I feel disgusting. Not only that, but it's been like an 18 hour day today. At least, I've at least been up for 18 hours, but it's been a long day, but we're gonna make it out there. We're gonna shoot this sunset right now and it's a little bit overcast, but we're gonna pray it goes well. Let's do it. All right, so we are back to the original spot that we were at earlier today and kind of mixed feelings about it right now. The water still is really ripply and it's making it super difficult to get any sort of reflection of Grand Teton. And so I think I'm deviating from the earlier plan that we had. The original plan was to get a really nice reflection shot 
just of the water in front of Grand Teton and then obviously Grand Teton in the background. So it'd be like a mirrored reflection of Grand Teton itself. This composition is really awesome. It's got these trees that kind of indent right here and then Grand Teton, the biggest mountain here, is right there in the center of it and so it's perfect and so how I've deviated from the plan is I've actually cropped in significantly I'm at around 75 millimeters on my 24 to 105 and I'm zoomed in really to just isolate Grand Teton in between all of these treetops right now the sky isn't really lighting up just yet I gotta check what time it is it is 8 27 so we still have about half an hour until the Sun completely sets and so I am hoping that we get some really nice backlighting from the sun. It's kind of overcast right now, but I still think that there is significant potential here. And so we're going to wait it out for a little bit. Hope that this comes out good. And settings wise, I'm going to try to run, I think, a 30 second exposure. I have a 10 stop ND filter here on the front of the camera. And what I'm trying to do is really get some movement in the clouds behind Grand Teton. And so. This right now, I think the composition is solid. It's just completely contingent on the light. Let's see what happens. Okay, not entirely positive what's going on, but the water just became completely still. The wind completely stopped and the water just became completely still. So I left my camera in the exact same position and zoomed out from about 75 millimeters to call it 30, 28, 30 millimeters. And I'm going for the reflection shot. Didn't think I was gonna do it tonight because the water wouldn't stop moving, but it's looking like it's actually gonna happen right now. I made the last minute audible to switch right here to a vertical composition because the sky started really lighting up and I thought there was gonna be a little bit more interest there. I have like two more minutes until the sun completely sets and it hasn't really lit up the way that I was hoping for it to, but I did take a number of different photos. I did a couple different variations. The first one I did was a horizontal composition, but then I did a square crop in camera because it kind of eliminated some of the distractions on the left and right of the frame and just made you really focus in on Grand Teton. I then flipped it here to horizontal to see if I could get a little bit more interest in the sky and to be honest, I'm a little bit skeptical on that one just because the sky wasn't all that exciting, but I will show you my favorite one from tonight right now. Okay, so I wouldn't consider tonight to be a wild success necessarily, but I think we were successful. I mean, this was absolutely incredible. This was probably one of the coolest things that I've seen in about a year, probably since I was at Yosemite last year. And uh, since I basically just hate to sleep, I'm gonna come back here tomorrow morning around four o'clock in the morning. And so the sun sets, let me just grab the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. The sun sets behind the mountains over here, but the sun rises, I think in this direction over here. So we should theoretically get some really solid light on Grand Teton tomorrow. And hopefully we get lucky and it also lights up the sky pretty significantly. And we have some clouds behind Grand Teton that'll light up with some really nice color. And uh, hopefully we get all of the best conditions possible, but I gotta head back to the hotel. I gotta crash, it's about 9.30 or probably 9.15 right now. I'm gonna crash, get about six hours of sleep, hopefully if I fall asleep instantaneously, and then I'll see you at 4 a.m. See you in a bit. So it does actually turn out that that spot is way better for sunrise than it is for sunset. I didn't do a ton of filming when I was there just because there were a bunch of people around and it was so peaceful I didn't want to disturb the peace I guess but the photo I got I'm super super happy with it. 
really enjoying this trip so far out here in Wyoming. I think that I'm going to take the rest of today to relax just because kind of been going nonstop since like three o'clock in the morning yesterday. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely go down below and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out a ton. And if you're interested in seeing more content from me, definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications and I'll plan on seeing you in the next one. Peace.